Hello and welcome to QA Thousand. I know that after a successful VARC Thousand and DLR Thousand, many of you are waiting, bait with bated breath, to see whether QA Thousand gets released or not. Yes, we are on. Except that this time we have two instructors. We will be helping you to make sure that you ace your CAT and along with it every other entrance examination for the MBA schools. Ravi and I. Are going to be your full-time instructors as far as this QA thousand courses, and I would like uh, Ravi to give you a brief overview of what is it that we plan to do in this particular video-based course. Yeah, so a very very warm welcome to all of you, and uh, thanks us for uh, starting it. So what we are going to do in this course is in this particular course, the uh, QA one thousand is not only you know solutions to questions. but more importantly what we are going to discuss is how to approach these questions how to channel your mind to think the way that we are thinking when you are looking at a particular question so essentially through the videos we'll be taking you through not only the concepts but also yes what are jugards as you call it or what are the various alternate ways of approaching questions and what is the underlying concept between that be, behind that question focusing mainly on whatever has happened in the last 4 years in the cat right so if you realize if you go through the last 4 years of the cat the quantitative ability section you will be able to realize one thing for sure that not all concepts are equally important probably when it comes to a cat kind of an exam some areas the kind of concepts that we you are being questioned in in cat are repetitive in that sense in the last 4 years and that is what our prime focus will be so what are the most important concepts and what are the most important approaches that you require over and above that what we will also be discussing uh, through the live sessions and a couple of interactions with you guys is also about what is the correct strategy that you need to devise for you to be able to ace this particular section qa in cat what do you think? in fact one of the things that i would like to say ravi and this is something which i would uh, want to assure every student who is taking this course or actually writing cat itself whether or not you take this course is it is only assumed without really the kind of an effort that is required a little bit of an effort i would say without that kind of an effort it is assumed that the quantitative ability section in the cat exam is very very tough yes it is tough only for those who have just forgotten that they actually graduated from their school most of the topics that have ever come in fact all the topics that have come in the cat exam have been what you have done in your 6th 7th 8th 9th and 10th standards in fact that is one of the reasons why you will see that a btech student a bcom student a ba student or a bsc or bca bba or mbbs anybody and everybody can write the cat exam which clearly means that everybody should have had some kind of kind of a common ground that common ground is only up to the 10th standard and we in this course are going to assure you that if you follow to the t what we expect you to do just not going through the videos alone but also cracking or solving some of these questions which will help you to you know the approach that ravi was talking about a few minutes back you will be comfortably getting decent enough scores probably upwards of 95 percentile now can you get a 99 percentile given whatever time you have my bet is yes you can provided are you game for it So yeah, so let's let's talk about what the course really exact uh, has. Shall we go to the next part of it? Yeah, sure. Okay. So what is QA thousand? It's typically so a video based learning course covering all areas for the CAT exam. That is the first thing that I want you to know. It is not a live uh, classes. It is a video based learning, self paced learning. that we believe that you need apart from of course whatever inputs that you can get from your teachers from your cat coaching centers and probably from the books that you would have uh, picked up to study for cat ravi yeah so we will be doing about 
80 different videos, more than 80 different videos that are divided into five different modules. So if you look at the entire syllabus of quantitative ability, I can place it, pick it up and place it into five different modules like arithmetic, numbers, algebra, geometry and mensuration and modern math. Yes, of course, there will always be some questions that will not fall under the, uh, under the purview of any of these topics. That is what we call miscellaneous. But yeah, essentially these five major baskets is what we have put the course into. And we will also be releasing five modules containing more than 10 videos for each module. If you look at it, uh, with the bifurcation of the videos per module is given on the screen. Arithmetic will be doing more than 23 videos. It is given as a number 23. Similarly, numbers will be doing around 10 videos. Algebra will be doing around 21 videos. Geometry around 15 and modern math about, about 10. Ravi, Which, can you please tell what is the rationale for this number of videos probably? So the rationale beyond this number of videos is very, very simple. Uh, if you look at it, the major chunk about 50% of the videos belong to arithmetic and algebra. If you actually go back and look at the previous year's papers, you will always find, forget about CAT, you take any aptitude exam in the country, generally that, the, that, that, that you know, questions you on quantitative ability, not mathematics, this is not mathematics we are talking about. Quantitative ability, your ability to understand and play with numbers, if you look at any such paper, you'll typically be able to find more than 50, about 60, 70 percent of the questions coming from these two areas, which are of utmost importance, arithmetic and algebra. So these are also the areas that have a lot of different topics or concepts, essential concepts that have been questioned upon in the previous few years. So through our videos of arithmetic and algebra and also about uh, the other three modules, what we'll try, try to take you through is what are the concepts that are being repetitively questioned in the CAT? What are the concepts that you need to understand? What is the question taking, question problem solving approach you need to understand for each of these modules across the area is what essentially we are going to discuss through these 80 plus videos that we are going to do. So each video, what we will do is we will discuss a concept we will discuss a concept and solve about five questions from the previous CAT papers or at least CAT level questions that we have chosen and selected. That will help you understand the concept much better. While for some of the concepts, we may discuss a concept entirely standalone and then start solving the questions. But trust me, for some of the concepts, especially for time, speed and distance, like a circular tracks kind of things, it is better that you actually try to learn the concept that is being questioned in the query, very, very question that is in front of you. So basically, we will be training you through the questions. What are the requirements of the questions? What is the thinking capacity you need to develop for being able to solve these questions? That is essentially what our focus is going to be. Yes, we will be discussing concepts but not very deeply, we will be discussing about the concepts that are required to ace questions. Yes, and uh, just like a DILR 1000 or a VRC 1000, we will have a live Telegram channel and a live Telegram group to support for any queries that you have will be handled by a, a, a both of us. And we will also probably bring in a couple of more people to be able to address the questions that you have when it comes to quantitative ability. Sir. Right. Okay. Now, the last, of course, now that you know that the course instructors are Ravi Teja and myself, I would like to look at one important thing before I end this session, the introduction session to QA2 1000. The first thing is, what is my expectation from students? Friends, you can be afraid of quant. You may be very happy with quant. Whatever it is, if you are sincere, and you're committed and open to the kind of a feedback that we plan to give you when you write your, uh, you know, uh, sectional tests or the mocks at uh, various places that you write, your chance of developing yourself into a quant uh, expert is always going to be high. That is the only thing that we expect. At the end of the day, many a time it has been seen that the reason why people don't get marks is not because they are bad, it is because they are badly consistent. That means inconsistent. The first thing that I'm expecting and probably both of us are going to insist on is that you 
you know it's it's easy it's a fashion to buy these qa 1000 or dlr 1000 and not really put in that kind of an effort i am saying even if some of the questions are easy for you please diligently thoroughly go through sincerely go through everything that we are there you will be surprised by the time you go to the cat exam you will find the exam to be very very easy and of course as we have expectations from students here is the promise from the both of you both of us that i can tell you we will be available of course at a predetermined timings and more importantly as we said there is going to be a consistent mentoring that will be done uh while i will not commit to how many more live sessions we'll do but we are very sure that before the cat exam we will pick up very specific live sessions on these areas of the subject itself as well as the approach that ravi was talking about the mental mindset that you need to have the strength that you need to have to be able to ace this particular section in the cat exam as well as of course the other exams too ravi so if you broadly look at what the course is going to be we have said we will do about 80 videos 80 plus videos covering about five questions each some of the videos when we will be discussing multiple concepts what we will be doing is we will be doing more than five questions or probably 10 questions in a video it all adds up to roughly 450 to 500 practice questions for you 450 plus into 500 practice questions for you and these are actual cat questions or questions we deem to be fit enough to be asked in cat so this is a very good place for yourself to find the practice material as well so i would otherwise have if we didn't have uh, uh, a trend of naming the courses as 1000 i would otherwise probably wanted to have uh, named the course as 400 questions of cat everyone should know right so that is what we are essentially going to take you through one disclaimer however is that if you are already very good in quantitative ability if you are already good uh, already getting that 99 kind of percentiles then i think you may not require this course however this course will be very suitable for a person who is trying to jump from a 50 to a 90 percentile within two months of time that is essentially what our focus is going to be so when we are going to discuss the concepts also we are trying we will be trying to make the concepts crystal clear with examples taking you through solving the questions in front of you so that you will be able to approach these questions in the way that is is required when you are actually facing a paper or a mock or the actual cat right so let's get going my friends and from the next video there are four videos in the first week for you to go through uh, setting the pace and the module 1 is going to be with arithmetic i think happy viewing happy learning and happy acing qa in the cat exam thank you all the best everyone let's see you in our class